Florida. Pretty Dude's been victorious. around a little bit, a little bit around. His name's Matt Granahan. He's offered to come in and do a, like a little motivational type speech, get you a little bit of information on who he is and uh, what his thoughts are on wrestling and what it can do for you. Sure. So I want to introduce Matt Granahan. This Thank Matt. you. Thank you. This is a, let me tell you about this guy right here. This is a guy that I admire so much because he's a man of many talents. Many, many talents from, from brewing. Uh, he, makes, he makes beer, he makes liquor, he makes wine, he knows wrestling, he knows submission, he knows, he knows MMA, he knows it all. And You know, a lot of my clients, I, I, I represent Dan B. Severn, uh, UFC Hall of Famer. We've done clinics out here with him, we've done clinics out here with the Prince of Persia, Kamal Shalarus. And let me tell you about wrestling and what wrestling was important for me in my life. Um, I grew up in Connecticut. I grew up about 40 miles from Long Island Sound in uh, Norwalk, Connecticut. And I started wrestling in seventh grade. And by the time I got to high school and I was in ninth grade, and I think about this speech, um, I thought that I was hot, that I was really hot shit. And, um, and I was, I was pretty damn good. But I remember going to a speech like this, similar to this, and we had a guy from the New York Giants come out. And this was like freaking every athlete was all together and I was just sitting there like ignoring this guy. Like you know like 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 hot oh, shit. But I didn't think you could learn anything from the older generation. And when I was in high school it was when the Dead Sea was still sick. I started high school, you know, back in the nineteen eighties. And we had no internet. We had no cell phones. We didn't even have pagers. And now, how many people by a show of hands, how many people have pagers in the Do you know, we didn't even have pagers when I, start, when I started high school. But when I started high school and, I, and wrestling was the thing that kept me out of trouble, it was the thing that kept me focused. I, play, I played football too for two years, but wrestling was the thing I did throughout high school. It was the thing really that got me into college and that got me money for college. And whether it does that or not for you, it's the sport that's going to teach you discipline. It's a sport that is going to make you an individual. Because you're part of a team, but at the end of the day, you can't blame your loss on someone else. You're going to look in the mirror, and that's the guy that's responsible for your loss. So that's why I always you know, tell people this. It matters not how narrow the gate nor how charged with punishment the scroll. Because you are the captain of your fate and the master of your soul. You control your own destiny on the map. You could blame the referee. You could blame whatever. But at the end of the day, you can't blame another teammate. You're part of a team, but it's an individual sport. And if you have what it takes, and I know Coach Perkle over there is a tough coach takes to continue on with his program this year, it's going to take a lot of intestinal fortitude and it's going to take a lot of mental toughness. Now, your palms are going to get sweaty and you know this feeling, your palms are sweaty, your heart is racing, you might even feel like you're, you're freaking tingling in your arms and your legs are shaking when you're getting into your when you're getting into your stance of starting your match. Now that could be one of two things. And you've got to answer this question for yourself of which it is. That could be fear, or that could be excitement. And if that's fear, then there's no reason for you to be part of Coach Perkle's team. But if that's excitement, then you're gonna kick ass, you're gonna go places, and you're gonna be part of his award-winning program. Now I'm gonna close with this, and I kinda need my phone for this so you can stop the recording. <laughs>